Welcome Fight Fans, Koga Joe here bringing you the latest news from Combat Games. We have two shows lined up to close out 2014 schedule. Saturday, October 25th at Snoqualmie Casino and Saturday, November 8th at Swinomish Casino. So we're closing out the year strong and we're already in conversations looking at four dates for each casino. So Combat Games is looking at eight dates next year between Snoqualmie and Swinomish. So we're really excited about that. So let's start with the Snoqualmie card. Leading it off, we have Paul DeVeglio out of Combat Sport and Fitness. He's going to be fighting Zach Zane. Zach Zane's coming all the way over from Hawaii, so Combat Games is expanding its reach and the fighters that it brings into the Pacific Northwest. Also representing Combat Sport and Fitness is Albert Tadavosian. He's making a jump up in weight. Albert's been competing at 155 pounds. He's a growing young man. He's jumping up to the 170 pound division. He's fighting Nick Cochran. Nick Cochran fights out of Northwest Elite and is trained by Eddie Blackburn. Eddie's guys are always in shape, ready to go. Nick is one and two. He's better than his record, and if you ask me, a guy who's one and two is dangerous. He's due for a win. So we'll see how Albert fares jumping up in weight, going against a dangerous opponent and Nick Cochran. Also representing combat sport and fitness is Anthony Reyes. He's competing at 145 pounds against James Martin, who's fighting out of the West Coast Fight Team, coached by Reese Andy and John Mariansky local boys from Auburn and Enumclaw, so it's the battle of who's the toughest 145-er down south. That's going to be a great fight. I'm super excited about that. Just found out the other day I signed Matt Coble to fight Dustin Praxitis. Matt Coble representing Livewire Gym. He's just coming off a win against Will Comstock on a Tulalip Casino show a while back. Dustin doesn't have a winning record, but he's dangerous in my mind. Dustin is athletic. He's left-handed. He just can't seem to find a win, but if he comes with his head screwed on tight, ready for war, I predict that to be a very, very exciting fight. I see Dustin challenging Matt in a lot of ways, and it's gonna be a super exciting fight. I wouldn't wanna miss it. Next on the card, Jorge Moreno, fighting out of the Irish hit squad. I talked about him last time. This kid is amazing. Watch out for him. He's a young up-and-comer. He just put a whooping on Robert Malfris. He dominated him for three rounds. He controlled Robert for three rounds. Surprised me because I thought Robert was going to take it to him. And it totally went the other way around. The kid is 1-0 now against a guy who was like 5-2 pro. So he debuted with a guy with a healthy pro record. And he just went out and showed a tremendous amount of poise. Robert had Jorge in trouble. Robert kneed Jorge in the head, knocked his tooth loose, and the kid was just calm, and he just kept coming straight forward, a la Mike Tyson, bobbing and weaving, throwing punches from his back pocket, and he controlled Robert. It was an amazing fight. I thought it was the fight of the night, and this kid is going to be dangerous, and he's going to be, I think, one of the next good fighters to possibly come out of the Pacific Northwest. Jorge Moreno, fighting out of the Irish hit squad. He's fighting a kid named Kina Penueta, another good young kid, 185er, super athletic, cross trains with the White Buffalo Warriors and Clint Radovich and all those guys, comes up here, trains with Will Hammond and the White Buffalo Warriors, he's going to be in shape. Will and Clint always have their boys ready to bang, and I don't see any jabs being thrown in this fight. It's just going to be one, two, one, two, coming forward, and it's going to be like a cloud of smoke in the ring. It's going to be an amazing fight. I'm super excited about that. Also coming over from Hawaii with Zach Zane is a kid named Jordan Mackin. Super good kid, super athletic. He used to train over in Spokane with Sik Jitsu, but he's traveling around. He's training over in Hawaii, and he's bringing his training partner with him, Zach Zane. So Zach Zane and Jordan Mackin are coming over from Hawaii. That's going to be a great fight. Jordan's fighting Chris Brady out of Ivan Salivary's gym. Again, like a lot of the gyms in the Pacific Northwest, Ivan Salivary is just another one that his fighters come in shape, ready to bang, and you know they're, they're going to be on weight and good to go. Probably not on time, but on weight. So, man, we got some awesome fights lined up for you. Also on the card, we have Eduardo Torres fighting out of Yakima NHB, Yakima MMA, coached by Rich Gearin. He's going to be fighting Emmanuel Russell, fighting out of Ivan Salivary's gym. So there's two young, up-and-comer, well-conditioned, well-trained fighters that are going to deliver a great fight for you. Again, man, I'm so excited about this fight card. It's going to be an amazing night of fights. Pete Nicasio, he's on the card. It's his last fight, possibly before Pete goes to law school. He's moving on to bigger and better things. 
but he wants to close out his career at Snoqualmie. We got him a fight against Alex Eastman. That's a rematch of an amateur fight that went the distance. It was a good fight. Eastman wants to get back to his winning ways, and he wants a shot at Pete. He doesn't want Pete to go into retirement unscathed. So that should be an interesting fight. Pete's going to be training down with Brian Caraway and Misha Tate down in Vegas, and then he's coming up back for the fight. Chances are Brian and Misha might be coming up and corner him, so maybe, just maybe, Misha Tate and Brian Caraway will be at the Rumble. And then a couple of amateur fights round up. Those were all pro fights that we just mentioned, but also representing combat sport and fitness, Caleb Padgett is fighting Joe Wortley. That's an amateur fight. And right now I'm working on a guy named Tyson Lynn. He's six and one, trained with Charlie Pearson up north and Charlie's Combat Club. He's six and one as an amateur. I want him to fight Sean Williams, who's five and zero oh as an amateur at 125 pounds for the belt. The 125 pound lightweight combat games amateur title. I'm in dialogue right now with both of their coaches. I'm pretty confident that fight's going to go down. So that's what we have lined up for you. We have eight pro fights. I'm looking at three or four other amateur fights. They're all going to be top-notch fights. Again, the doors open at two. The fights start at three. The fight card is stacked. It's going to be fists flying at three o'clock. And it's going to be another great day of fighting up at Snoqualmie Casino. So come on out. Support your local fighters. Go drink, go gamble, spend money at the casino, have a good time. You'll be home by 9, 10 o'clock. No damage, no harm, no foul, and you'll have a good time. So moving on to the next event, Battle of the Bay 9 at Swinomish Casino and Lodge. The doors open at 6, the fights start at 7. It's going to be a great night of fights. I got four pro fights lined up for you, eight amateur bouts lined up. But good news, that fight card is now an 18 over event. So if you're 18 years of over and you couldn't go before because you weren't 21, now you can attend that event. So that's going to, I think, increase attendance, make it more exciting, and it's just more available to our younger MMA fans, which is great. The main event on that card is Jeff the Candyman Sweeney fighting Colt Hassauer out of Orcas Island Fight Camp. Jeff is representing Arlington Kickboxing Academy, coached by Landon Showalter. That's going to be an awesome fight. Jeff is on a three-fight win streak. I think they're all by knockout or TKO. The last fight of the Battle of the Bay, he stepped off a jab, threw an uppercut, faded him with the right. It was textbook perfect knockout of the night. Sweeney's on a tear. Colt Hassauer is a well-conditioned, well-coached guy. He's long, he's lanky, he has good jujitsu. He really doesn't want to bang with Jeff too much. He's gonna just try and take him down and grind it out and see what he can do there. He's confident and he's good, so that's gonna be a good match. Next on the fight card is Robert Malfres fighting out of Team Wise, coached by Eric Wiseman. He's fighting a cat named Jay Grimesley, fighting out of Idaho. Tough kid from Idaho. He's five and two. Robert's like five and two. They're both good shape, long, lanky guys. It's gonna be a great fight. Robert's coming off a loss, needs to get a win. I expect him to be guns blazing, looking good, in tip-top shape. He's got a great coach and a great team surrounding him, so that's going to be a great fight. And then we got Randy Zarza fighting out of Livewire MMA heavyweight, making his debut, his pro debut. He's like seven and two as an amateur. He's been cleaning house in the amateur ranks. He's ready to go pro, get paid, and move on to the next level. He's fighting a guy named James Hood. This guy, I just got a picture of him today. He is all tatted up and looks like the scariest, meanest dude you would ever see. So Randy's all tatted up, this dude's all tatted up. They're both mean, scary looking, nasty guys. And they're gonna go out there and make that cage flex a little bit. I might have to go get it reinforced, check my welds, check the seams. Cause they're gonna go out there and bang it out in there. It's gonna be exciting. They're both debuting pro and they're coming in hungry, man. They wanna get one and They wanna start their career one and oh. They're evenly matched, similar record. It's gonna be an awesome fight. Also on the card representing Orcas Island Fight Camp fights that I have secured are Joseph Segolt. It's a rematch versus Joe Rollweeder from Livewire MMA. Joseph Segolt caught Joe, the Battle of the Joes. Joseph got Joe Rollweeder in a guillotine. He thinks it was a fluke. He wants it back. Joseph's gonna give him that chance and they're gonna go at it. And that should be a good fight because they were tearing it up until he got caught. 
And then the next fighter representing the Orcas Island Fight Camp is Tyler Negretto. He's also fighting another guy from Livewire MMA. So we got these guys teamed up all the way down the line, it seems like. Tyler Negretto is fighting Ruben Fortuna. They're both, Tyler's one and one, Ruben is two and two. They're gonna mix it up. That should be a good fight. I'm working with uh, Charlie Pearson, talking to him about getting Chris Garcia, possibly to fight a guy named Wu Johnson out of Victory Athletics from down south, coached by Dennis Hallman. So that fight is not a done deal, but it's on my board. I'm in dialogue with both camps, and I'm confident that that should be the fourth pro fight on the card. Chris Garcia versus Wu Johnson. That would be at 155 pounds. Chris can fight at 155 or 170. So I gotta get the coach and the weight and them all on board and we'll make that fight happen. Again, two dates to close out 2014. Saturday, October 25th at Snoqualmie Casino and Lodge. Doors open at two, fights start at three. And then Saturday, November 8th at the Swinomish Casino and Lodge. Doors open at six, fights start at seven. Two awesome fight cards lined up for you. You can get your information on upcoming events at Combat Games, MMA.com. Be on the lookout for what's coming up in 2015. I think we've got eight shows lined up next year between the two venues, and it's going to be an awesome 2015. Stay tuned. Coco Joe, signing out.